All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to, to all you hopefully like brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. This is the brother, not by Ayasha, the Jim S. Indianapolis camp, coming with another episode of Get Your Mind Right. Today, we're going to be dealing with servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the land. All right, which goes back to the description of what Ecclesiastes, because you see right here, here in this article, dated August 6, 2019. So this is a recent article. You see what I'm saying? It says, uh, this is Galveston police apologized after photo services of horse mounted officers leading handcuffed suspect. Now, this is the only reason why they apologizing. They're not apologizing because of what they did. They apologizing for what they got caught. But, but when I seen this picture, it reminded me of Ecclesiastes where it said, I've seen servants upon horses and I've seen princes walking as servants upon the land. You see what I'm saying? Because you see what? Who was the servant? Esau, the so-called white man. That's the servant sitting upon a horse, which what? Horse represents power. See what I'm saying? So he's in the power seat right now. But then you see the prince Right here, this Jake, because Israel me is what? It's Yahshua Allah in the Hebrew, which means what? He, Prince of God, or He, Prince of the Power. Who is the Power? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God in Jesus Christ. See what I'm saying? So you see this Jake walking as what? A servant when, when actually he's the Prince of the Power, Prince of God. So it says, Galveston police apologized after photo services of horse-mounted officers leading handcuffed suspect. It said, a man is led to jail by two Galveston police officers. If y'all don't know, Galveston is in Texas, down south. It says, a man is led to jail by two Galveston police officers on horseback on Saturday. It said, Galveston police are apologizing after a dramatic photo circulated online showing horse-mounted officers leading a handcuffed man of color. He didn't even call him a, a, a so-called Negro. He didn't even call him an African-American. He said a man of color by what appears to be a rope. See what I'm saying? You can read the rest of the articles for yourself, brothers, but I'm just hitting the main point right here. Now, this picture reminds me of what? Right here, of Teddy Roosevelt. Who was a an American president? Teddy Roosevelt, aka was well, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, aka Teddy Roosevelt. He was an American president. As you see on this picture right here, a servant sitting upon a horse, and you see princes walking as servants upon the earth. Cause you got what the northern and southern kingdom walking right beside uh, Theodore Roosevelt. It could be two Gadites, but he looked like a, a, a Judite from the southern kingdom, but it could be Gad. But let's just say it's the northern and southern kingdom. All right. You see Gad on the left side, and which is the northern kingdom. And th this might be a, a Judite from the southern kingdom, but it could be a Gadite too. You know what I'm saying? But still, the point is, these are two Israelites that's walking. Two Israelites, which are princes of the power, Yasha Allah. Walking as servants upon the land. Matter of fact, I'm finna get the scripture. Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. So it said, I have seen servants. Who was the servant? The self proclaimed white man. Why is he the servant? Because it tell you back in Genesis, remember Genesis 25, talking about Jacob and Esau. Remember it said the elder shall serve the younger. So who was the oldest child? Esau. He came out first. He's the oldest child. Because Jacob and Esau was fraternal twins. They weren't identical. They were fraternal twins, which were two different nations of people that was in uh, 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 Isaac loins. You see what I'm saying? But they was worn in, fighting amongst each other inside of Rebecca's womb. Inside her stomach. So these were two different manner 
of people, two different nations of people that the Lord set up. So, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, a.k.a. Teddy Roosevelt, represents what? The servant. Because why? He's from the lineage of who? Edom. Who, whose uh, progenitor, his name is what? Esau, the self-proclaimed white man. Who's the, the progenitor of all you Caucasians? See what I'm saying? Esau is Edom. You Edomites. You get what I'm saying? So, like the scriptures say, the elder shall serve the younger. You can find that in Genesis 25. It says the elder, which is Esau, the father of all you Edomites, you self-proclaimed white people. It says the elder shall serve the younger. Who is the younger? Jacob. Who represents what? The 12 tribes of Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. See what I'm saying? So this is the servant that's upon horses. And what the rest of the scriptures say? And princes walking as servants upon the earth. See? These are what? Princes walking as servants upon the earth. These are the princes right here. These two princes right here of, of the nation of Israel. See what I'm saying? Princes, because the word Israel is in, in the Hebrew is what? Yasha Allah, which means what? He, he prince of the power or he prince of God. Which is the power. See what I'm saying? So going back to this article right here. I have seen servants. Which are these Edomites. Upon horses. Which represent power. And I have seen princes. Right here. This Jake. This so called color man. This man of color that they say in the article. I, I've seen princes. Walking as servants. Because why? He's bound up. He's in, in servitude here in America. This is our captivity. He's a slave here in America. It said, I have seen princes walking as servants upon the earth. See what I'm saying? So this is a role reversal right here. Because why? Esau is in power. Like I tell you in Job 9, 20, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. See what I'm saying? So the wicked is ruling. That's why he's upon his horse, which represents power. And then this Jake right here, this so-called African-American, so-called Negro, which is a Hebrew Israelite, Yasha Allah, he prince of the power. This prince is walking as a servant upon the earth. When actually, he's supposed to be on top of the horse, meaning what? In rulership, in the power seat. But guess what? In the kingdom of heaven, he will be on that horse, and this Edomite will be walking on the ground as servants in his rightful place, in the pl place that he belongs, as a servant under Israel under Yasha Allah, under this prince of the power. See what I'm saying? So this was just a quick video. I pray to you how about she may shout out. This was edifying to you, Aki man. With that, hey, Abad Baba, Shalom.